So I got asked a few times how you go from a dual capacitor, a dual round, to, uh, to a single capacitor, which is uh, very common in HVAC. Uh, often you go out and you open up a unit in, in a previous tackle of swapped in, a, a, you'll see a single capacitor in there running the condensing fan or the compressor sometimes. And uh, it's very common. And uh, the reason for this is because all a dual uh, round capacitor is, is it's two capacitors in one package. That's all it is. Uh, it'll have one leg that says Herm, which is for the compressor. It'll have one leg for the fan, which is for the condensing fan. And both of these share a leg on C, which is, uh, which is a, a, the common. And it just, they just share in a leg is all they are. So if you wanted to take it off, if you wanted to add in uh, a, a single capacitor, you would have to make a jumper from the C leg to your new capacitor, and then you would run the other side on in to like the, the condensing fan motor to uh, run it, and then you could just bypass the, the side for the condensing fan motor. And so, um, this is, this, like I said, this is very common. So, say you came out and you, uh, and you see this capacitor inside of there, and you, the higher number on this one, you can see the 35 plus 5 uh, MFD, which is microfarad, 440 40 volt eight VAC. The, the 35, the higher number is always going to be for the compressor, and the lower number is always going to be for the condensing fan motor. So in this case, the, five, uh, the condensing fan motor is running off 5 microfarad capacitor, 440 volt AC, VAC. So if you came out and you tested this capacitor, and the 5 microfarad side, the fan side, was uh, testing bad, you could take a 5 microfarad, 440 volt AC capacitor, single capacitor, and you could put it right next to this one. You could jumper off a C, the common leg, to it, and you could take the fan lead off of this dual round and put it on there, which will go straight to the condensing fan, and it will run it fine. You could leave the, the, the compressor still running on the 35 uh, microfarad side since it's, since it's still testing good, and then move on and go on to your next call. Uh, and if you wanted to, you could do the same thing with the compressor side. You could put a single 35 microfarad capacitor, single capacitor in there. You just have to jumper the common leg to it and you would have it in there and it would be running. So uh, that's basically it. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it's not very confusing at all. And I think what confuses people is that it just three connections instead of four. And if you just remember that the C is just a shared leg, that's all it is. And you'll, you'll, have to, you'll have to make a jumper to go to C to the new capacitor to make it, to make it work. And so that's basically it. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link to this article if you want to read it more in depth on what's going on with it. Um, but, uh, but that's basically it. If you have any questions, ask me down below and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.